if you were to tell me one year ago that Noel would be a top tier Geo unit, I would call you a dumbass. But now with the addition of Fiorina de Fontaine, we have one of the strongest pairings in the game that most people will be able to pick up on. And lo, there flip here, and as I just said, we're going to be looking at Noel's synergy with Fiorina and covering everything from how to gear and build Noel teams around Fiorina and her two. Yes to playstyles that Furina has opened up, and in what scenarios each of them would shine in. But before we do that, as always, if at any point during the video you're entertained or informed, make sure to drop a like and even consider subscribing, as I talk on various topics regarding Genshin's meta and I'll try to keep you updated. Before talking about how to build a team, let's first get a basic understanding of why these two work together. Because of Furina's HP drain and how her burst damage bonus ramps up from the amount of HP fluctuations you have, Furina does want to be paired with a healer, and ideally a teammate healer, to generate the most stacks from her burst, and therefore give you a bigger damage bonus. And Noel kind of, um, heals. Now for a quick explanation on this failed knight's healing, when Noel creates her shield, every time you do a normal or charge attack, you have a 50-60% to 60 chance to heal based on your defense. And with C1, when you use your ultimate and skill, this is a 100% chance to heal. So yes, you do need to have decent uptime on Noel's shield, which can be a pain in the ass, as not only can it break, but it has a low amount of uptime if you aren't constantly triggering her A4. And at most, you shave off 5 seconds for essentially a 19 second cooldown, and with those 7 seconds of downtime you can recast your teammates burst. Now with that base explanation for you dummies out of the way, let's talk about Noel's two main builds, because you can either go with a carry Noel focusing on her damage and building the team around it, or you can go with Noel as a driver focusing on the damage of your off-field units and using Noel as a buffer for them while tanking all the damage. Let's start with discussing Noel's driver playstyle as it's a lot more free to play friendly, only really wanting Noel C1, as her damage is nearly irrelevant. Some of you may be wondering why you'd use Noel as as a driver in the first place, and there are a lot of good reasons for this. As explained, Noel is already getting a fuck ton of fanfare regardless, and Farina does a lot of damage. So if you want to further capitalize on Farina's damage, let's say we bring Yolan or Jingcho to lower Farina's energy requirements further, and they will also get buffed, and now we have two Hydra units, and what set can Jiro units use to buff teammates' damage? Oh yeah, Archaic Petra. With that, is there a way we can further lower energy requirements? Oh yeah, what if we give Noel Favonius so she can battle herself? And the off-field units? Then the last slot is pretty flexible from which I'll cover shortly. Noel has a lot of supportive traits and with Furina's buff it creates the perfect scenario where Noel can fully support and have the team do lots of damage while she just focuses on healing and shielding. Moving on to builds, Noel is just going to need Favoni's greatsword on this team, otherwise she'll be bursting every 10 millennia as Hoyoverse decided to just not give her any particle generation. This is also doubly beneficial as it also lowers the rest of your team's energy needs. So if you were based and pulled for Furina's signature, like me, you would have a much easier time I'm using it. Moving on to main stats, you'd want a defense sand and a defense goblet. Then for circlets, you can go with crit rate, healing bonus, or defense, depending on how lucky you are with substats as you want enough crit rate to trigger Favonius consistently. Speaking of substats, you are going to want to prioritize crit rate and DR. Finally, teammates, you do have quite a lot of flexibility here. To an extent, the team core is obviously going to be composed of both Noel and Farina, and your third team slot almost always wants to be either Yolan or Jingcho. Yolan always being better offensively and energy wise, as you'll be able to switch to Yolan during Noel's burst up time and use a skill. While the twink makes your shields tankier, allowing you to be more consistent with fanfare generation if you don't have Noel at level 90 or have her shield talents low, or if you're just fighting this dancing bitch. Both have their upsides, so choose whoever you want. There's also the option of just running triple hydro to basically have energy requirements in the negatives. But we know your account isn't that good, so you can just boot out your Lonerjing Cho here for official, so you can conserve one of the hydro units for another team. Fischl slots in here nicely with her off-field damage and self-sufficiency in generating energy for herself, and Noel will get a decent amount of Fischl A4 procs from Crystallize. The problems you can run into Fischl though is that especially without her C6, she has quite low uptime, resulting in you having to switch more and adjust rotations for this, and her damage is considerably lower than in other teams as she won't be able to get the Archaic Petra buff, as you kind of just want the Hydra one. Besides Fischl and Triple Hydro, Kazuha is also great here, his grouping makes the team a lot easier to pilot, and the Viridescent Resistance Red is still very valuable. With Kazuha, you get enough damage bonus to where Yolan actually wants a HP Goblet optimally. Hell, even without Kazuha, Archaic Petra on top of a decent amount of fanfare makes a HP Goblet better for Yolan regardless. And with Kazuha, this gap widens. Is the difference enough to where you need to switch? No, but still interesting to know nonetheless. Sayu, Jean, Venti, or Sucrose carrying VV also work here. 
And besides that, all the defense double crit pieces you've gotten from Golden Trope can actually go to use by using Albedo on the team as well. You have quite a few options. The last thing to cover before going on to Noel as a carry is the general rotation for the team. Since this team has a lot of variants, it's hard to exactly tell you how to rotate, but I'll put some rotations on screen. And because I love you guys, let's look at one of these teams triple Hydra I guess and give a breakdown. Noel does very slightly with C0 and C6 rotations, as with C6 you have a 10 second duration extension. I know it says you have to kill an enemies for this to take effect, but that's not true. For whatever reason, if you're off-field when Noel's burst is supposed to end, which is very easy to track by looking at the cooldown, you just get the entire C6 effect. So you can build rotations around this since it's so consistent. Let's look at the demo. Start with Furina's skill, then go to Noel and use her burst to create a Hydro Crystallize Shard. After that, Jingcho has the longest ultimate, so we start with him. And we're going to do Q to E, so we can catch Noel's Favonius Particles. And then funnel the skill to the next character, and since Furina's burst lasts longer than Yolan's, we go to her next, instantly cast her burst to catch Jingcho's Particles. We already used her skill, so we can quickly go to Yolan and use her skill and burst. And by the time we do all of this, Noel's ultimate should have around 5 seconds. 1 to 2 seconds before a burst ends, you want to swap off to any unit, it, it doesn't really matter. And then just normal attack for about 3 seconds to continuously proc your lawn. Then go back to Noel, you'll get the 10 second duration for free, which is around 3 normal attack dash cancels. And then from there you cast your burst again and redo the rotation. If you're in a situation where Noel has a lot of energy to instantly burst again, or if you're in multi-target content and kill enemies, you don't have to do the swap off thing and can instead just focus on spamming normal attacks to heal and lower your skill cooldown. With a C0 Noel, you can do this exact rotation, but you'll have to build more energy on your Noel, so you can burst when it ends. Or you just keep activating Archaic Petra at the start. Now with that out of the way, if you want a little bitch boy, you'll do the real Chad move and build your Noel as a carry. Not if you don't have her C6 though. Noel carry teams with Furina are essentially just the teams you would currently use Noel on. Like the Mono Geo structure, just replacing one of the Mono Geo units with Furina. And because this is a team predicated on Noel's damage, you are really, really going to want to have her C6. So defense is a good offensive substat, on top of it helping retain your shield. And Thunder, who is my boyfriend, I mean, <clears throat> My associate Thunder calculated Noel's goblet on these teams to determine that the gap between Geo and defense is so close that you may as well just use a defense goblet for consistency and fanfare generation and shield up time. Speaking of which, go check out Thunder's channel, he's a good friend of mine and is going to be covering Navia content, which I won't because fuck that bitch, we play Noel here. Noel carry also really wants you to use a C6 score to further increase Noel's damage, as even with Furina it isn't all that impressive especially in single target. Also having to sacrifice some of Furina's damage as she would want to use a Favonius weapon to help out Noel. Speaking of which, Noel is going to want a decent amount of energy with two Vivonius weapons on the team, and if you switch to Goro somewhat consistently, you'll need around 140 energy. For builds, because you're focusing more on Noel's damage, you obviously don't want to build her on Petra. Furina enables Noel to use the 4 piece Hunter set, which is going to be extremely resin efficient for the team, and is slightly better than Husk, so both options are pretty good. But in terms of what to form, I'd recommend going with the Hunter set. For main stats, common sense dictates that you want a Defense Sans, a Defense or Geo Goblet, and a Crit Circlet. For substats, you want ER until about 140, Crit, Defense, and then any more ER rolls are good. Team building is more streamlined in this case, you want Goro, Furina, and then you can slot in Zhongli here or Albedo. Zhongli offers a Geo Rest Shred and Albedo provides his off-field damage. Due to tight energy requirements, it's hard to place anyone else here that isn't a Geo, that also won't make Noel an energy black hole, so take what you will. But there is still the option of running double Geo, double Hydra teams. The rotation is going to be a lot simpler here, just use Farina's skill, followed by her burst. And then from here you can just go by who has the longest ability to the shortest ability. Just make sure that Noelle's snapshot scores a defense boost. Now with Noelle's two roles defined, which is better? Noelle's driving teams have the benefit of being a lot better in single target over the carry variants. And this isn't by a small amount, it ends up being upwards of 10k DPS better. Noel here also doesn't need as much resin investment as Favonius mostly covers her energy requirements, and Archaic Petra just needs to be strongboxed until you get decent defense pieces that don't have to go through the extra layer of balancing crit stats. The only con with Noel as a driver is that it doesn't take advantage of Noel's massive AoE, and you need Anima units to help supplement this so enemies can be more tightly grouped for Farina and Yolan's ability to hit more enemies. Jesus fucking Christ, I miss Renner. And from my experience of playing this team in this current and past Abyss lineup, after the first rotation, managing everyone's skill time can be a pain in the ass, especially when having to chase enemies or slight things that can happen to throw your rotation off, which Noel carry teams don't run into as the rotations are a lot more streamlined. 
The team is also more brainted to play just spamming N3D cancels while being buffed up from everyone with Noel's damage and a massive radius. But other than that, this team has a lot of cons. It is more expensive, really wanting both a C6 Noel and C6 Goro, and ideally one more 5 star on top of this. If someone were to take a short every time I say Noel, they would most likely be in a body bag by now, fuck me. Anyways, overall, Noel's driving teams to me from the amount I've playtested just feel better, even with a dip in AoE performance. And as a Furino lover, being able to use her signature comfortably will always be a plus to me. Both playstyles have their pros and cons, but I'm more inclined to take SUV Noel as there are a lot less downsides and a lot more positives. But this is no slight to Noel's carry potential as the damage is actually quite relative to a C0 Ito, on top of all her comfort and better area coverage. And with that, that's pretty much all I have to say. I would also like to apologize for how long this video has taken to come out. It was a bit insecure about sexuality. I think I'm kind of getting burnt out again, which I don't want to say, and if I forced myself to make the video, you guys wouldn't see me in another 3 months. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video make sure to like, subscribe and comment your thoughts on Noel, as I'd love to hear and I respond to almost every single comment. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.